the longest serving prime minister in Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, looks like he's on his way out of office. Netanyahu, of course, a hardliner who made racist remarks about Arab voters, faced political scandal after political scandal and launched three bombing campaigns against Gaza, the most recent of which last month killed more than 60 Palestinian children. So anyone who gives a damn about human rights or international law won't be shedding any tears over Bibi's impending departure. But let's be clear. This guy looks set to be his replacement, and in many ways, he makes Netanyahu look like a Boy Scout. Yes, Naftali Bennett, leader of the tiny Yamina party, a multimillionaire ex-software guy, husband to a pastry chef, and son of American immigrants from San Francisco. But Bennett has a long history of anti-Palestinian bigotry and incitement to violence. He once told a Palestinian member of the Israeli parliament on live television, when you were still swinging from trees, we had a Jewish state here charming. When he was told in an Israeli cabinet meeting eight years ago that you can't just execute Palestinian terror suspects, you have to arrest them first, Israeli paper Yediat Aronot reported, he said, I've killed lots of Arabs in my life and there's no problem with that. No problem with that. In fact, in 2018, when hundreds of Palestinian protesters were marching to the Gaza-Israel fence and Bennett was asked if he was willing to allow the army to shoot and kill Palestinian children who managed to breach that fence, He replied, they are not children, they are terrorists. This is a politician who tried to ban members of an anti-war group of Israeli military veterans from speaking to high school students, who tried to ban a novel about a Muslim Jewish romance. This is proper far-right authoritarian racist messaging. It is. Bennett is so hard right that for a time he led the Yesha Council, representing Israel's illegal settlements in the occupied West Bank, even though Bennett's not a settler himself. He is a man of faith, though, set to become the first Israeli prime minister to wear a kippah, believe it or not. And there's nothing wrong with that. In my view, being a person of faith is a good thing. But Bennett is a religious nationalist, a theocrat. He believes God gave the Jews all of the land, so it's theirs and only theirs. Don't take my word for it. It's literally what he told me when I interviewed him back in 2017 on Al Jazeera English. Madi, I I guess what you need to do is go uh, back and change the Bible. You need to change the narrative of the Bible because it's all there. Is, and I assume is Israel a theocracy? All Muslims, uh, is Christians, Israel now a theocracy? and Jews. Is it a religious state? I assume. Why are you quoting I assume the Bible that to me? All I'm quoting the, the Supreme Christians, Court Muslims, of and your Jews. country. That was undoubtedly one of the stranger interviews I've done with an elected politician. Bennett also has a Trumpian approach to facts. Here he is with my MSNBC colleague Eamon Muyudin the other week when asked about a two state solution. You have said the idea of establishing a Palestinian state has reached, and I quote, a dead end. If you don't believe in a two-state solution or full equal rights for Palestinians living under Israeli occupation in the West Bank and East Jerusalem, what should happen to Palestinians under your rule? Uh, We're talking about an autonomy. Right now, there is a Palestinian state in Gaza. No honest or serious person believes Gaza is the Palestinian state or has any kind of independence or sovereignty. But this is who he is, anti-peace, anti-two-state solution. This is a guy whose campaign ad once said, there are certain things that most of us understand will never happen. The Sopranos are not coming back for another season and there will never be a peace plan with the Palestinians. This is a guy who told the New Yorker in 2013, I will do everything in my power to make sure they never get a state referring to the Palestinians. So look, if you're a Palestinian in the occupied territories or an Israeli who genuinely believes in peace and equality, Bennett isn't just more of the same, he's worse. Worse even than Netanyahu in many ways. But there is perhaps, perhaps a silver lining. For years, American liberals, the Democrats, have been able to avoid the issue of the occupation of the Palestinians by just pointing to Israeli leaders, even to Netanyahu, and saying, let's have a peace process. Let's have a two-state solution. That's what we all believe in. With Bennett, that dodge is no longer possible. The likely next Israeli prime minister does not believe in a Palestinian state, never has. So to America's liberal politicians, I say, what are you going to do about that? Hi, I'm Mehdi Hassan. Thanks for checking out our channel on YouTube. You can see more of the Mehdi Hassan show by clicking on any of the videos on this screen and make sure you subscribe below to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. Thank you for watching.